All right, hey, here's Big here. I'm shooting another Toyota RAV4 Prime video. All right, that's why I'm sitting on it. <laughs> and uh, I've just recovered from COVID, so like I, I may I may seem a little still a little sickly. <laughs> so it's there, all right. But anyway, the, the video today is going to be about replacing the front speakers, all right, kind of like the tweeters, I guess, on the uh, Toyota RAV4 Prime SE. Okay, so this is an SE model. I don't know if this uh, if this like you could do it on the other RAV4s, all right? I know for sure you can't do this on a RAV4 with the JBL Auto audio system because you need a different harness for it, okay? Um, but yeah, so I bought the, the wire harness for it. We'll take a closer look at these in a second and the speakers, all right? We'll take a look at the speakers that I'm gonna use. All right, this is the, this is the easiest speaker upgrade from what I've seen on the interwebs, okay? Um, I do plan on upgrading maybe one of the door speakers, like a pair of the door speakers later, um, so I can get better bass. But uh, uh, this is the this is the easiest one right here, okay? Uh, and it doesn't require you to upgrade the deck or or anything or add amplifiers like that. It's just a straight swap, pretty much, okay? And it, I think that you can do it in five minutes. Okay, so let's go take a look at the goodies that I got to install, and then uh, we'll go ahead and install them. Um, so, uh, and also, yeah, one of the reasons I want to do this mod is because, like, yeah, the speaker system on... Okay, so I had a, a 2006 Toyota Prius, and it had the JBL audio system. And honestly, the JBL audio system was good enough for me, okay? And it's big as not the biggest audio file out there. All right, I got a subwoofer in my Eclipse, and that's about it, all right? Um, it would be nice to add, a, like, a small subwoofer to this, um, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe, maybe they'll have some way to do it. Um, I don't. I knew. I do know they have subwoofers for the um, for the um, the trunk. All right. You can add a subwoofer to the spare tire, like on top of the spare tire. But I don't want to do that. Um, I want something kind of like the JBL system, where they have it right here, because there's plenty of space. There's like nothing back here. <laughs> there's nothing back here in this panel here. I, I've looked back there. There's like literally nothing back there. That's a perfect place to put a subwoofer. Uh, and it wouldn't eat up at your trunk space at all. So, um, if I could find some way to do that, it would be great. Um, you'd have to buy the whole unit from Toyota. It would be very expensive, and I think you would have to have like the amplifiers and all that stuff. So, yeah, I don't think that that's the easier uh, that's the that the easier option to get more base. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install these. Um, uh, like I said, I like that JBL system that was in my Prius and uh, and the. The speaker system on the RAV4 Prime SE is just, it's not very good. <laughs> okay guys, compared to the Prius, it's not very good at all, that's what I'm gonna say. Like I said, I was happy with that. And so I'm hoping that with this with this mod, uh, it'll have a better like front speaker, so it, the, the audio quality will be cleaner, all right? Yeah, and that's one thing I've noticed about this. It's kind of, the highs aren't very good, okay? So that this'll, this'll definitely help fix that, I think, okay? This is a very good speaker, okay? Alright, here's what we got. Okay, so these are the two things I'll be uh, installing in the vehicle. Um, it's good to finally be in my RAV4 again. I haven't driven it for like more than a week. Uh, so this is a uh, Kicker KSC350 uh, speakers. It's a three and a half inch speaker. And these are about, I got these for $71 on um, Amazon. Took me a while to get them though. I don't, I don't know why. Wherever they were getting from, they were, took a while for them to get. And this is a Red Wolf uh, wire speaker wire harness. Okay, I got this for 15 bucks, and this is probably the important part right here. So this this is it adapts your wiring, so you could use them with the aftermarket speaker. Okay. So there it is. So I have modified these. Uh, I have a bunch of pictures that you can take a look at at how I modified them, but basically.
Okay, did you get that? Basically, I uh, I swap the the wires. Okay, so you take the red wire here and you connect it to the the silver wire. Okay, the one that doesn't have any kind of color on it, and then uh, the uh, the silver wire you connect the red wire. Okay, but you're basically just changing the connectors because as you can see, the connectors are different. Right, one of them is small and one of them is big. So there's no way you could thing it you know so from what I had heard online is that these uh, a wiring harness this specific one the red wolf one is is wired backwards okay so I, I guess you could people have wired it put it in the the you know the other way around and it works fine so but they're saying like they interfere with each other or something if they're the polarity is reversed so so I like I've like there was a handful of websites or posts that said like hey uh, the you gotta you gotta swap these so so that's what I did okay and I will I will put a link in the uh, in the description of this video where I purchased these okay on Amazon all right okay so uh, so yeah there you go uh, so that's a, that's the first step is to modify these all right to swap these swap these two wires around on both of these and that's what I did for both of them okay and you guys saw those pictures I'll put those pictures again at the end of the video all right okay so let's go ahead and get to actually okay actually let's go take the speakers out of the box because i haven't seen them so um these speakers um i just done some research on the rav4 websites and i i found out that these ones are one of the better ones that you could get okay i went with the kicker i might go with the rockford fosgate for the woofers that's what i guess the, the bigger speakers okay so this is what you get when uh when you get one of these uh, kicker speakers, it's very small. <laughs> yeah, it's like, almost like a tweeter, dude. <gasps> okay, so this is a uh, what they call a. Here's some little specifications on this. It's a hundred watts peak, uh, fifty watts RMS. Okay, it's three and a half coaxial speaker. I think it's a two-way speaker. Yeah, I think it's a two-way speaker because it's got a it's got a tweeter on it. Okay. Okay, there's a close-up of the speaker. so cute <laughs> so yeah there's like three there's three three hookups on it okay just uh whichever one whichever one fits guys <laughs> okay so there's one that's like teeny tiny like this one all right so i guess that one goes here this very small one all right and then the big one will go probably like there wherever wherever it's easiest to get on okay kind of lock, locks in the place too yeah so it won't go on this one all right so just whatever ones it fits properly okay and you can see here you can see here the wire here is it's a plus okay it's a it's got a stripe or I don't know I don't know if that's a plus or not but but this is a black with a stripe and this is a black okay so and it's the black is connected to a a red <laughs> so I don't know I don't know if this is right guys well, we'll find out okay it also comes with some kind of mounting hardware all right it's a bunch of self-tapping screws and brackets it comes with uh and it comes with this wiring dealy here okay i don't know if we're going to use that and he's like i said he's not, he's not a, the biggest audio file out there all right but i can install speakers so <laughs> all right and then you get some kind of uh kicker quick start guide okay got it so yeah so basically the instructions say the right is the positive and the left is the negative all right the small one so this is the this is the negative and this is the positive okay why there's three i don't know like i said it's because it's the biggest audio file in the world <laughs> uh, but yeah so i guess uh, in the car these are backwards all right so that's why that's why we have to swap these. This is actually right, all right? This, because the positive is supposed to go to the right, right? And this is the positive wire, right? But it, now it's wired to the negative, all right? But in the car, it's not right, okay? <laughs> so it's backwards, all right? All right, so the first all thing right. you gotta do is uh, we gotta clean our car, <laughs> all right? Just kind of get the area you're working on clean. I'm already kind of cleaned it a little bit. I'm gonna take this dash mat I have off here. Okay, at least I'm gonna take 
most of it up. Only just that much, all right? And then, so what we gotta get to is a speaker grill right here. Okay, so the area we'll be working in is a speaker grill right here, all right? A speaker grill. All right, so this was covering it right now. So all I did is peeled it back a little bit. I should probably just take it out and dust it or something, but it's okay for now. All right, so we got to take this grill up. And to do that, I got these plastic trim tools. All right, so hopefully one of these will do the trick. Let's try this little, little blue one out. There's not a lot of room to work with. There you go. Okay. Aha, so that is actually the right place to pry it right here. <laughs> I would just kind of guess it, okay? But uh, right here, all right, about three fingers, all right? Three fingers from the edge. There's a little thing to pry up on this, okay? And then there you go. Speaker is exposed. All right, and there's like a, so the way it works is there is a little tab, all right? There's two little tabs on the front and it slides in that way, all right? And then you press down on it, okay? Now, it, it seems like the dash is pretty soft, so I didn't really damage it. Try not to use anything metallic, okay, guys? Now, this was the right tool right here, okay? Okay, okay guys. Uh, so you're gonna need, uh, you could use a screwdriver, but I think the best thing to do is use a 10 millimeter socket, okay? Remove the old speaker. Okay. Just, I'm just going to kind of break them free first. Okay, I got the two screws out. And then now you could lift the speaker out. Okay, there it is, and uh, it's got yeah, it's got its own little connector here. All right, so that's definitely why you. Oh, this is a tiny little speaker. <laughs> All right, and then I'm not really sure how to disconnect it quite yet. There has to be some kind of tab that you gotta squeeze. Yeah. Okay. So see that tab right there? You gotta push that. I think you have to push it in to get this out. So basically I pulled up on the speaker, all right, I know it's it's not good for the wiring. <laughs> I pulled up on the speaker and I pressed that tab and it just popped right out, okay? So this is the tab that you're, you gotta press right here. Okay, cool. And there's your speaker. It's, <laughs> it's compared to the, the kicker. So look at the difference between the stock speaker, all right, <laughs> and the kicker speaker that we bought. Holy moly, it's a huge difference. Oh, they stuck to each other. Yeah, man. Look at the difference in that. Big difference. Holy moly. This is going to make uh, a world of difference. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, one of the things I've noticed is that uh, the, the stock speakers have a foam around it here. All right. That... I guess it presses against the grill, the speaker grill. Uh, these don't have a foam, all right? Um, I don't know if I should add one or not. Okay, it's just hard plastic. So that if it starts rattling later, I might thing that, okay? But we'll see how, how that works out. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and install this. But yeah, that's the difference between the stock speaker and the, old, and the new speaker. So big difference, all right? It's definitely much heavier, all right? So it's going to add some weight to your vehicle, but a pound or two, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and install it. Oh, oh, so, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these wire harnesses and one of the speakers. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, plug the adapter in. Okay, so that's connected. And we're going to go connect our speaker. 
or you could connect the speaker first. Okay, and then we're gonna go shove that up in there. There is not a whole lot of room. Okay, I kind of got it in there. You really have to cram that puppy in there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get these these uh, screws back in. I'm just using the same screws that uh, the stock speakers use. Maybe they'll be okay. I don't think you'll be able to get the other spe the other screws in because they don't have a thing on. It. Okay. Try to center it as best you can. Yeah, it's a little awkward to work in. Just uh, take your time. Take your time. Okay, and there it is installed. Okay, uh, so the way I install is the 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 terminals all right, are on this side, all right? It seemed to fit better that way. Um, and then everything is just kind of just smashed into there. I hope, I hope that does the trick. <laughs> I hope the speaker grill doesn't touch it. That's a good question. Okay, yeah, so uh, when you're done, all you got to do is just uh, put this back in, but I'm going to test it before I uh, thing it, all right? basically slip this back in like that all right and then just press down and it should lock into place all right so i'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then uh um then then we'll go test it out all right so for the other <laughs> side i'm just going to speed the video up it's pretty much going to be the same thing it's just the other side all right it's it might actually be a little harder because it's a little more crowded on the driver's side Okay, there you go. I got I pretty much installed it like I installed the other side, all right? It went pretty smoothly. Um yeah, dude, that speaker does not it like it barely fits in there, guys. <laughs> the speaker is like humongous compared to this thing, man. There's like hardly anything on this. But uh yeah, this is just a tweeter. That's all this is, man. Okay, this one, so this is I got an actual like speaker and a tweeter on it. So th this will uh, sound like two times as good, right? Because it's got two times the speakers, <laughs> right? Um, but anyway, um, yeah. Um, so like I said, I installed it with the um, the terminals facing that way. It's kind of like that way, I guess. It's like straight ahead. And then I shoved that, that little harness, the connector, all the way down there. Like you can, there's, a, there's actually more room down that way, okay? So it kind of it's kind of like a strange kind of cavity, but there's more space going that way. So what I'll say. Okay. Uh, now I don't know if I have to put that foam or not. It did, my speakers didn't come with that foam. I do know some speakers do come with it, so I don't know. I I get it'll be fine as long as this thing don't touch it. All right, but it's got this plastic thing on it, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it won't rattle. Um, anyway, let's go. Let's go fire it up and have let's a listen. The... Let's put the AM radio on, just, okay. Uh, then we're gonna go to sound. We just, I just gotta make sure that the speakers work, that's all. So we're gonna go to balance. 
and then just move it all the way to the front. Okay, so I'm gonna go left, I'm gonna go right. Okay, I don't know, I don't know if my camera can pick that up, right? But I could hear it. I could hear the static going from right to left, okay? And then they're gonna go back to the center. Okay, so yeah, indeed, it, the, okay, the speakers it do work. work. And it seems to work pretty good. Uh, it's uh, it's much cleaner than the other speakers, right? definitely. Um, and that's what I was hoping for, you know. Uh, these aren't like a woofer or anything, so they're, it's not gonna like bring out the bass more. That that's uh, you're gonna have to replace one of the door speakers for that. So so that's what Hades Vegas uh, uh, plans for the future is replace one of the a pair of the door speakers with uh, with a better uh, woofer. Okay, like I think it's like a six inch speaker or something. So and th that should uh, definitely bring out the bass better. But this definitely clean up the audio. The, the audio clarity is like way way better. Like I noted before with with this speaker. This speaker, <laughs> this speaker right here, it, the the sound is not clear at all, man. It's like you're listening through like a cardboard box or something, you know. So, so yeah, it definitely helped a whole lot for for seventy bucks. I think it was totally worth it, you know. Uh, so the last thing we got to do is put the put the car back together, pretty much put the speaker grills back on. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's put the speakers back in. Speaker grill. There you go. That's it. Put the cover back on. My dash cover. Okay. And then do the same thing for another one. Pop that down. Easy, man. So like So not gonna lie, if yeah, if you do yeah, if you do how to pop the speaker grill off it, this should take you like if you knew what you were doing it should take you like five minutes all right maybe okay maybe five minutes per side all right so probably like a total of ten minutes all right well okay also I have to reverse the polarity of the the speaker wires so that took I would say that took like half an hour all right basically all I did was I snipped the wires and I just resoldered them back on but I I resoldered them on backwards okay that's why you see the silver and the red are swapped on the wires, all right? And and I will put a picture of that at the end of the video also if you guys wanna see how I did that, all right? Um, but yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, so I don't think we needed the foam on the speaker, all right, so, cause I don't hear anything rattling, all right? And it's like, like I said, it's not a woofer or anything, so it's not gonna vibrate. It's not, it's not gonna vibrate like a whole lot, is what I wanna say, okay? But, uh, but yeah, there you go. So that's how you install a new, a set of, a pair of new speakers for the front of your Toyota RAV4 Prime SE, okay? Uh, this only works in the SE. The XSE model, you have to have like a special uh, connector because I think it has the JBL audio system. Uh, don't quote me on that, but, but but yeah, if you have the JBL audio system, you cannot do what I just did because you have to have a different, uh, you have to have a different connector for it. And um, and yeah, so you'll have, to, you'll have to look that up. But this works on the SE and it probably, if you don't have the premium audio for the other, models of RAV4, the fifth generation RAV4, you could probably do this also, okay? Um, but but this is primarily for the RAV4 Prime SE, okay? Um, and yeah, and that is what came out of it. <laughs> this, this, this thing, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it anymore. It's so light, man. Might as well not have a speaker in there at all, you know? <laughs> okay, but that that is one, that, I think there's a, I think there's two door, spe there's two speakers on the door, all right? There's one right there, all right? And then there's another two speakers on the back door. Um, and then that's that's the whole inside of the car. I'm thinking of just doing maybe just the front or or maybe just the back. So I'm not sure. Whichever is easier. <laughs> How about that? Uh, Hayes Vegas is planning to go with a Rockford Fosgate, okay? For those ones, all right? But I installed those kicker speakers. Um, I will have a link to the speakers and the uh, and the wiring where I got the wiring from in the description of the video. So go check those out. I got them on Amazon. Okay, uh, you don't have to get them on Amazon, but that's where I got them. Okay. All right. I hope you guys learned something. Hope that was entertaining. That was a si simple job, and um, hopefully, uh, it'll. I I'll be sitting here a long, long time listening to music and stuff. So it'd be nice to have some nicer beats. <laughs> that's what I say. All right. All right. Here's the big out.